Good afternoon. It's Saturday, July 11th, 2020. Um, started out cloudy with some rumbles, but now we've got clear sky and it's warming up and getting humid. Uh, we may get some storms later today, so do be on the lookout for that. But let's pray that we get good rains and little damage to the crops. Announcements today. Uh, Bobby Moaning has been moved to the Gutberg Care Center for further rehabilitation. Unfortunately, both the hospital and the care center have now drawn back on uh, their visitation policies because of the rise in virus cases. Uh, and so, again, they are all shut down in terms of visitors. And um, hopefully this surge doesn't last too long, but it is something I'm monitoring daily and will be shaping my judgments about how we continue to um, progress in opening up worship and other activities. Uh, I'm really hopeful that it doesn't last too long and that we are only going to be for a short time with the surge, but who knows. Um, <clears throat> again, a reminder of worship tomorrow morning, 8.30 at St. Paul's, 10.30 at 1st. Um, both services will be live streamed and so there'll be an opportunity for you to see the services if you cannot attend. And a reminder that First Lutheran has its church council meeting tomorrow following worship at 10.30. I want to share just a brief passage from Paul's letter to the Romans. This is chapter 10, starting at verse 14. But how are men to call upon him in whom they have not yet believed? And how are they to believe in him of whom they have never heard? And how are they to hear without a preacher? And how can men preach unless they are sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who preach good news. But they have not all obeyed the gospel, for Isaiah says, Lord, who has believed what he has heard from us? So faith comes from what is heard, and what is heard comes by the preaching of Christ. These are your words, Heavenly Father. Sanctify us in truth. Your word is truth. Amen. I get um, a small newsletter monthly called the Forum Letter, and in it was... Um, an article about pastors and their preaching. Uh, it was an interesting article in that it was written from the perspective of a layperson sitting in the pew, um, and that always serves as a good reminder. Um, our preaching is important. Uh, with we as Lutherans, preaching is very close to the core of who we are. Word and sacrament shape our ministry and hopefully are a part of everything we say and do. It does serve us well if pastors are reminded from time to time, uh, not only about the responsibility of preaching, but the responsibility of preaching so that those who are hearing the sermon might be, be benefited from it and blessed by it. The length of a sermon sometimes determines on how much a person gets out of the sermon. Um, there is another saying attributed to Luther. I, I don't know if he said it or not, but he should have. Uh, he said, the mind cannot absorb what the seat cannot endure. And I think there's truth to that. Uh, a long sermon isn't necessarily a good sermon. In fact, I've only ever been in one lengthy sermon that I thought was worth sitting through. All the other ones that go beyond 20, 25 minutes after a while, you begin to wonder if the pastor or the person preaching has gotten going and can't find the switch in their brain that says, time to shut up and sit down. It's important that we clergy, we pastors, we who are called to preach, take the time to study scripture, to prepare our sermons, to think about what we are going to say and about who is listening. Because it's important that everyone listening understands in some way that God loves them. The smallest child in the church on Sunday morning needs to understand, as long as they can understand, that Jesus loves them in some way. And if you can make it clear to a small child, it will be clear to the vast majority of your members. The challenge to preach is to do so out of love for the people you serve, certainly because you believe what you're proclaiming, and that the gospel is doing real business in your life as the preacher. Because if the gospel is not the center of who you are, you may say all the right words, you may concoct the most beautiful phrases, but if there is no faith behind them, 
it will become apparent to the hearers that the pastor is just mouthing words. We have a responsibility who preach the word to preach it faithfully, to preach it as well as we can and as we are gifted to preach, to not worry about whether or not our delivery is excellent or to perfection. Certainly we want to try, we want to practice, we want to study, but we do not have to be able to mesmerize thousands. Rather, to proclaim the gospel in such a way and with such clarity that people understand that they have a Savior and that there is hope for them. And really, that's the heart of what the preacher is supposed to be doing. Preaching Christ so that people can believe in him. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks that there are those called to proclaim your word. Send your Holy Spirit upon them that they might proclaim that word in all its truth and beauty, that they might prepare and think deeply about the word, but most importantly, that they might be speaking and proclaiming from a position of faith and trust in you. We thank you, Father, for hearing our words today and that, that you are always with us at all times. We pray this in your name. Amen. Well, I'll be posting the videos from worship tomorrow, so the regular posting like this will come again on Monday. Until then, goodbye now.